Okay guys, uh, in this video we'll be talking about very briefly uh, the DNA damage response, right? And uh, we'll be talking about what are the different uh, response that a DNA uh, generates after getting any kind of DNA damage and what are the different causes of DNA damage in the first place. So, so let's talk about it. So let's say this is the DNA and DNA receives any kind of damage, right? Any kind of damaging effects or damage, whatever. Now the DNA damage can be a cause of, you know, it can be a cause of cellular metabolism during different cellular metabolic pathways, uh, various tasks are going on inside the cell, like uh, for example, many metabolites are generated, some of them can be toxic, for example, urea is generated which is not very good for cell, so, so on, so there are different uh, metabolic materials that can be toxic, accumulation of all those metabolic materials uh, can be toxic. It can be UV light exposure. So if the DNA is exposed to UV light, it can lead to direct damaging effect because UV radiation and UV light can, can actually form the th thymine dimer. It forms thymine dimer and that thing uh, kind of this thymine dimer can create kink in the DNA. As a result, that bulge section of the DNA will no longer be trans I mean, uh, they no longer be replicated properly or transcribed properly due to this uh, thymine dimer. It can be ionizing radiation, any kind of ionizing radiation like X-ray radiation can be there, gamma radiation can be there. So those radiation can also come because you know we live in the world of pollution nowadays. So it's full of pollution, polluting materials, those materials and it's filled with all the type of ionizing radiations, different modes of radiations outside. So those things can ultimately damage us. Chemical exposure, chemical carcinogen, chemical mutagen and all these things, they can change the DNA. It, it, it sometimes be DNA damage like breaking down of the DNA or sometimes it is simple mutation in the DNA. But in bo both of this DNA mutation or any alteration of specific DNA structure and sequence can ultimately lead to the DNA damage. And it can also be the replication errors. During the replication, error can occur and that replication error is ultimately giving us the DNA damage during the further future replication process. So these are all the causes of DNA damage uh, that can occur, right? So once we get all this type of DNA damages, the DNA should have a proper response against those DNA damages because we need to fix that DNA, right? The DNA damage should be fixed and for fixing up that DNA damage, there are certain mechanisms that we need to follow. For example, we can use a mechanism like cell cycle checkpoint because during the cell cycle, if the DNA remains with the damage, if the DNA carries the damage uh, during the cell cycle stages, it ultimately leads to very harmful and dangerous effect right and ultimately it leads to uh, the apoptosis and cell death so we need to think about and fixing up any dna damage that is present during the cell cycle or during entering into uh, the metaphase or anaphase of the cell cycle so that thing should be done in the interface of the cell cycle and that thing is brought about by different types of cell cycle checkpoints that are available dna damage can be fixed by you know transcriptional program activation if because there are certain genes uh, are responsible for coding proteins that are fixing the DNA damage. For example, proteins that are responsible in the nucleotide excision repair, proteins that are important in base excision repair, proteins that are important in methyl mismatch repair and so on. Right? So all these proteins like UMU, uh, like uh, other types of proteins, UVR. So those proteins are responsible for DNA damage repair, right? And DNA damage repair system like SOS start to be activated there. And DNA repair, you know, direct repair, you know, if there is any DNA damage or DNA, uh, you know, base change or mutation, direct reversal of that can occur. Base excision repair occur. In base excision repair, they just cut a section of the base which is misincorporated and and then add a proper base in that position. Nucleotide excision repair occurs when the section of a stretch of bases are deleted and uh, replaced with some new proper bases. Mismatch repair can occur and also different double stranded break repair models all, all these things like using homologous recombination can also restore the DNA damage scenarios.
and ultimately uh, we can uh, the cell if if they fail to maintain the dna damage if they fail to uh, to properly repair the dna damage in that case cell chooses apoptosis or error prone repair pathway or apoptosis pathway they either go up with the mutation that's called the error prone repair or uh, they can go for the apoptosis pathway and the apoptosis means programmed cell death so the cell will ultimately die and cell will die by their own via the cellular in, in, intrinsic and extrinsic pathways via the natural pathway inside the cell and it will ultimately kill itself to prevent further damage inside that cell so these are all the different types of responses uh, why different you know due to different response elements like uv radiation ionizing radiation chemical exposure and all these things so this is uh, kind of it now if we need to know uh, another important thing that is uh, how the cell senses those damage then you can see this important study is that we have the dna and the dna has any kind of damage right so that's not designed or that's not provided here let's say let's say this is the dna and that dna is having some kind of damage in between so let me change the color here the dna is having any kind of damage in a particular regions like that so do you, we need to fix that damage a cell need to fix that dna damage for fixing that they bring all those DNA damage element, response element proteins and replication stress relief proteins there in that position. And uh, those proteins are there. Once they are there, so, so these are the signals like the replication stress, replication uh, fork stall, right? DNA damage. So these are the signals. Once they receive that signal, they will ultimately, there are certain sensor proteins present inside that will ultimately being generated and those sensor proteins will further generate the transducers and those transducers ultimately generates the effector molecules right there are sensor proteins there are effector so there are different examples of all those protein names and all these things like effector proteins like you know p53 is one of such kind of effector molecules or effector protein which will further generate and which will further activate some other proteins to either repair the dna and or or put the dna through apoptosis mechanisms and there are certain sensor proteins uh, uh, are present always there uh, i i kind of don't remember some of the names here but there are certain examples so those sensor proteins sense the scenario and they provide this sense the scenario to the p53 like proteins they are the master uh, proteins the guardian of cell cycle and those p53 like proteins they will bring about other types of proteins which will ultimately do certain jobs for example for like cell cycle arrest so they will arrest the cell cycle transition from one phase to another phase or they can also cause apoptosis or programmed cell death if it is required if the dna damage is too much and they cannot fix it then they will put this cell into apoptosis pathway they can go for transcription and activate certain genes and proteins which will ultimately help in the DNA repair. So if there is any damage or damaging condition for the cell, there are majorly three different ways to actually fix it. The first way and the most effective way and the way that cell obviously want is to repair, repair the DNA or repair the damage. That's the first thing that is there in cell, uh, that's present in cell. If that's not possible, in that case, uh, they sometimes want to go up with that fault. Suppose there is a DNA damage and cell is adapting the damage and its cell is working with that damage. It's not changing anything. It's called the error prone repair. Error prone repair may occur at the end. Still, but it's still a repair. But if it cannot repair a certain section, they go up with that fault, right? But if they sense the fault is too much and can lead to huge damage to the cell, if they carry out with that repair, in that case, they ultimately choose apoptosis. They ultimately choose apoptosis and cell will die. And cell decides to kill itself because if they present with that mutation and faults and DNA damage inside, that will ultimately lead to more, more dangerous effect inside the cell. So this in a cell uh, is uh, how DNA, uh, how the cell sends the damage and the actual damage response that is being brought about.